Yes, we're in the halfway tree area and what we are trying to do is to get all the loose garbage in the space off the road because this is Hope Road and this is a Hope River when it rains and it runs right into the Hagley Park Road which is another Hagley Park River when it rains and it ends up down at Marcos Garvey Drive so in trying to save flooding on Marcos Garvey Drive we're making sure that all the loose garbage along this corridor is taken up we have done a quite a bit of raking for the last hour we've been raking up the area with all that uh, litter that took place in this space we have getting it onto a truck now and we'll be getting it out and we're gonna work right up to the point when we consider it unsafe we are going as close as we can because there's a lot of loose garbage that we have to take up right here in this harbor trees area i am happy that we have a team of people at the nswma who notwithstanding the weather and they have families too but they are out here working right until we say to them now go to safety they are out here commendations to them saying to all jamaicans please properly containerize your garbage in this time don't put out the garbage during the rain go containerize it and keep it inside we want to spare the country of any potential disaster and one of the things that can cause it is when we have the loose garbage clogging up the waterways and the drains and it causes flooding that leads to destruction of property, loss of life, etc. So help us to serve you as we ride through this together. We will be alright and we will be here. Just look at the character of this garbage. Lunch, lunch, juice, water bottle. And when we finish, we just throw it. Right? And then somebody have to come behind, rake it up and clean it up so that we can get it into the truck. We continue to preach containerization, proper containerization of garbage. We don't have a collection problem right now in Jamaica. What we have is a waste management problem. That's what we have in Jamaica right now. Before burying, we have to get these loose garbage off the street. If you can look there, you can see there's loose garbage. We have to get it off the street. What you see behind me are men raking up and cleaning up. That is what we call the loose garbage. It's on there. And we have to get it off the street. If we don't, it can't break down in the waterway into the sea. So it's a race against time, but we are up to it and we will know when it's time to pull back and run for safety. But right now, we are on the jump and the crew is excited because we know we have a duty to our country to make. Yeah, so we, what we actually, actually do is kind of rake up we have to rake up that's what you see happening here now we are out here and we are raking up and why we have to rake up is because all of these wanton littering that takes place around the half a tree area will end up in the sea it will go down Hagley Park Road with the water that comes down from Hope Road and it will end up in the sea and that, that's what we are trying to prevent as burial approaches we are doing our last minute cleaning and so we are in the harbor tree area. Lots of loose garbage all around the harbor tree area. And you can see we have to be raking it up because if we don't, it will make its way to the sea. And all of those is that's commercial waste, you see. But it's out here and we have to get it off because it becomes our responsibility ultimately. Thank you. 
so you see, when the garbage is kind of loose, like what leak out or what spill over, this is what you get. We have to scrape it out and this takes additional time. Not good. Ah, this is a gun. There's a nice thing to see you so in summer come right now, guys. Everybody wants supply and everybody wants All right. And what's your name? Michael. Michael over there. They call me Beanie Man. Beanie Man? Yeah. All right, good. Yeah. Well, we are just out here, as you know. We, we're trying to get the last minute clean up because we have a lot of loose garbage all around and we don't want to get into the waterway. Just a few hours to finish our work and get inside of safety. Very is fast approaching, but that is not going to stop the crew. You can see that they are very, very busy, very, very animated as we try to just get the garbage out of the system the best we can. We can't clean up everywhere at once, but we're trying to get, especially the loose garbage, we want to get it off the road so that we don't have a problem with flooding. That result from garbage. We can't stop flooding, but we don't want the garbage to pass. So we are going against the clock, working very hard to try and minimize uh, the loose garbage getting into the waterway. How are you, boss? How are you? Oh. We are all out. All out. Uh, last minute. Last minute, last minute. Big up, General. Big up, big up, big up, big up. Boy, I tell you, is my new one, Emmys? All right, good, good. Out working. Good. This is a kind of last minute operation where we try to get as many garbage out the system as possible. Crew is working very hard, as you can see. We're going against time, going against time, going against time. Going, going. Alright. Alright, go, 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 go,